Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and welcome to the part number 12 of Cryptocurrency Trading Bot Tutorial. In the previous video we have discussed two position sizing strategies, like risk adjusted sizing, which helps us to limit our losses to 1% of total funds, and dynamically adjust position size depending on the stop loss size, and Kelly Criterion which uses historical performance to calculate position size. Today in this video we'll start implementation of both strategies. We have only two tasks in Trello to-do list. Like I said before, they are risk adjusted position size and implementation and Kelly criterion implementation. Well, successful completion of both tasks lets us to close this task automatically. Let's begin probably with the simpler part, which is risk-adjusted position sizing. Let's look at our current position sizing calculation strategy. Because we trade three pairs simultaneously, for position sizing we simply dedicated one third of our total funds to each position. So let's change this into a more efficient way. As you remember from the previous video, firstly we have to calculate trade risk. So let's define some variable, call it trade risk, and this variable is equal to zero. Then we have to calculate trade risk separately for long and short position. In order to define whether this position is long or short, we have to compare stop loss price and close price like this. If close price is greater than I'll copy this part. And stop loss price, which means we plan to open a long position. Greater. So, close price is above the stop loss price, and otherwise, we have to open a short position. So, for the long position case, trade risk equals to 1 minus close price divided by stop loss price. And similarly for the short position, trade risk equals to 1 minus stop loss price divided by close price. Ok. Secondly, we have to calculate trade risk coefficient. So let's define it as a zero value variable. Coefficient equals to zero. As you probably remember from the previous video, trade risk coefficient requires another coefficient which is account risk coefficient. This account risk coefficient is a total amount of funds in percentage which we can afford to lose in one trade. We agreed to keep this account risk coefficient at 0.01 level, which equals to 1% of total funds. So let's define this account risk coefficient somewhere here. Now we can calculate trade risk coefficient, but it also depends on whether trade risk is greater than account risk coefficient or not. So let's write conditions, 
weight risk is greater than health risk coefficient else difference. So now we are able to define trade risk coefficient. Trade risk coefficient equals to smaller variable which is the count risk coefficient. divided by greater variable which is straight risk and the opposite for the second case where account risk is greater than trade risk okay, let's double check if this one is greater then it is under otherwise it is over oh I have made mistake at this point we have to fix this we have to divide the smaller number by a larger number let's also move this part to the trade risk coefficient calculation let's let's take this expression into parentheses and division also parentheses and division now we can simply add trade risk coefficient into return statement like here and in this case we'll get risk adjusted position sizing let's hit save and test this code project simulate runner node m.js well our code has no errors as of now and as you remember from the previous case we have significantly improved our performance probably by 30 or 40 percent which is not bad. So let's now implement Kaylee criteria. Before we do that, let's look again how risk adjusted position sizing works. Firstly, we have calculated trade risk. Trade risk simply is some percentage of money we potentially can lose in one trade. This trade risk we have used in order to calculate trade risk coefficient. Trade risk coefficient limits our losses to 1% of total amount of funds due to account risk coefficient and the maximum value of trade risk coefficient is 33% because of this part. Then we have multiplied our initial amount by trade risk coefficient in order to get final position size. But this is enough for today. In this video we have completed the easiest part like risk adjusted position sizing. Let's move it into the 10 tab. In the next video we will uh, start implementation of more complex part like Kelly criteria which relies on probability theory and it requires some historical performance parameters. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!